Yeah. Yeah. So I want to put something here in response to what I've observed of of how people have responded to the Power of Chi film. And I think it largely comes from pragmatic martial artists who say, you know, that wouldn't work in a fight and just that they, um, there just seems to be this perception in, in external martial artists and even internal martial artists that it's, that chi is just rubbish. <laughs> and uh, I just find it amusing because it's, in a way, the essence of who we all are. Like, we all have chi. Uh, how open the body is and how much it can flow, therefore how much vitality and health and uh, nourishment our organs get and that kind of thing varies from person to person based on how open or closed they are. But we all have it. Um, it's kind of the difference between a, a corpse lying on the floor and you standing up. The only difference is one's energised and one's just a piece of cold meat. Um, but it reminds me of like a quantum physicist will say that everything's particles of light and then inside, you know, the, the smallest atom that makes up matter a hydrogen atom the nucleus is a is like from the nucleus to the the surrounding electrons is comparable to a 10 cent coin in a cathedral so all of these building blocks that make up all the so-called matter is actually more recognizably now from uh, you know being able to look smaller and smaller and smaller at matter, that is more what we think is hard and and uh, immovable or you know physical, is actually there's more space in it than actual matter. Um, and I guess just the, also the nature of reality that we you know also uh, like a a neurophysicist will tell you that what we what you think you see as hard objects and the world around you is not even there. You know, it's like the, the classic saying that I remember from Dr. Fred Allen Wolf, a physicist, is uh, he said, there is no out there out there. Meaning that, you know, they'll tell you that basically the brain is just decoding electrical signals coming through your eyes that you don't even actually see with but it gets put together in the visual cortex in the back of the brain and then that becomes your picture of what you see. So, so you know, that cutting edge of science will tell you that matter is not what we think it is and everything beneath that is, you know, the, the energy that makes it all up and then our perception of that. So just sort of saying this to kind of come around to, um, we'll come back to, where I started with that, the Power of Chi film and the perception that, that Chi is rubbish. And, and the common thing is people say, oh, it's, it's all tricks. And it's like, well, that's like saying that writing is all tricks. So you need the skill of being able to hold the pen. Um, you need to learn the letter, how to draw it. Then you need to learn the whole other bunch of letters. Um, and then you need to be able to put them in specific sequences to make words that someone else can understand. And then you need to put them in sentences and then you could even start to fashion ideas and philosophies and concepts that you can communicate through this skill of writing. But that skill is made up of all these little parts that are learnable skills. So to say that using chi inside of a martial art is tricks is to me is akin to saying that writing is a trick okay well then yes it's 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 all these little tricks that you have to learn to then be able to write and then you can put this thing together that is so much more than any one little part of it it's the same thing you know the the 
mobilization of chi through the body comes from all these different things that you need to do to open your body and specific methods of, of then creating this wave of release through the body to then to be able to sink downward to um, absorb or redirect force and then to mobilize outward from the foot to the hand but it's it's all these little things that are very much physical in the training to get get to that point um so yeah it's it's uh i guess just something i wanted to share that um that it, it amuses me that these kind of stubborn materialists haven't even looked at quantum physics physics or something to to realize that that matter is not uh what it seems <laughs> and that we all have or we all are far more fluid and and much more space than we are actually anything hard or fixed um so yeah i just think it's healthy to open our minds to to what we are made up of and what the essence of us is rather than just looking at one level of who we are which is the hard physical thing which is is you know we sort of become addicted and stuck in the five senses in this experience but we all know there's more to it than that and uh if there's practices and cultivations that can uh, develop being more whole rather than just developing the physical but ironically we use the physical to to get there we use the body as the vehicle for that training then i think it's uh something worth embracing to be to be more whole and ultimately to be more free that's what you want your opponent you want them to go somewhere on the ground not going up can you show me how you do it um my body shape was here and i'm just trying to right that's if, what I'm, if I'm on offense i'm trying to yeah so they're going to come in and try and yeah. control it like this kind yes. of thing right? yes yeah <laughs> okay. yeah. How, yeah how does that feel i felt good i mean i felt fine that reminded me of uh playing against Shaq. 